So I wasn't entirely sure how to start this video. I wasn't entirely sure what I should start with saying. Um, but hello, I guess. Hello. Uh, this is actually the first time I have done one of these videos since my rebranding. Um, and what I mean by that is like when I went back and deleted all my old cringy videos uh, from before I actually started taking this seriously. Um, I did a lot of these basically explaining where I've been, why I haven't been posting, but I wanted to do this one because this is actually me being serious about being serious, if that makes any sense. Um, as you all know, I will briefly take breaks. I'll come back, record like one video and say, oh yeah, I'll be back with another video tomorrow. I'll be back with another video this week. And then it never happens. Uh, I really just wanted to make this one time video unless the future warrants for another one um but i really just wanted to make this video to say where i've been why i haven't been posting and the fact that i am actually trying to be committed to posting videos not once a day or like two a day or whatever that that's exhausting you know like i actually want to be able to do this but also grow and enjoy it so if you clicked on this video because of the title and you don't want to stay through this talking video i ask that you do just so that you can hear me out but if you don't want to stay totally understandable and for those who do end up staying to the end of the video thank you i guess let's start with the basics where have i been why haven't i been posting chris what the What's, what's going on, man? What's going on? You got this whole setup. You got this nice gaming chair, this nice mic. You, you, what's going on? Uh, it's kind of a long-ish story. Um, a lot of factors in my life and a lot of things that kind of like dwindle my motivation. Uh, just kind of all attacked at once. There, it goes way back to when I was in college. I have since dropped out. But basically... I don't even know where to start. Let's start with YouTube. Uh, it's just a lot of time and effort that goes into recording videos and editing videos. And for me, I already have a job, you know, a job that pays. YouTube is like a, a hobby that I hope to make a career. And with my job, it's a, a time consuming. You know, I try to get up and record videos after work or before work but on some of those days you're just like man i really want to chill today but then again i haven't recorded in months like in the back of my mind i'm like yes 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 i'm gonna do this but then work is like uh you might have to work an eight hour shift today my boy you sure you want to do that and then it goes into editing the video afterwards i like to put a lot of a lot of time and effort into my videos when I edit. I, I like to try and finesse it a bit, you know, put a little spice into it so that you guys can enjoy the video. And I don't necessarily force comedy, but I try to be funny, you know? And if I feel like there is a part where I'm not being funny, my words aren't enough to deliver the kind of joke that I was trying to make, I'll put in a little edit. I'll put in a sound effect or something. And People always ask me whenever I tell them, oh, yeah, I also make YouTube videos. I make TikTok videos. They'll ask, like, oh, how long does that take? It usually takes about three or four hours just to edit the video, depending on how much effort I want to put into that video. Not even including the three or four hours that it takes to render the video. And then we got to go into the one and a half to two hours that it'll take for the actual video to get up on YouTube. And by that point, it's like, I want to create an upload schedule. Like I've been trying to post at 3 p.m. every day, but I kind of realized that that's not physically possible. Like I don't know the algorithm of YouTube. I don't think anybody does at this point, but it doesn't seem like with the way that my work schedule goes and with the way that the time it takes to edit, record, render, post not necessarily in that order there's no point in having an upload schedule because then i'm not even stressing about making the video good i'm stressing about trying to get the video out 
on time when it there's really no schedule that needs to be done to make youtube videos um and then i'll come home late from work some days and i'll eat dinner or lunch whatever it is by the time i get off and then i'm just chilling for a second and then the next thing i know i end up falling asleep taking a nap something pops up and it just gets in the way and i'm not even using these as excuses it's something that i want to try and fix and work on time management is really all this is um even with tiktok i occasionally will scroll through tiktok and then i'll get this itch to want to watch my old videos just because i miss it it's nostalgic you know it's just baffling to see how far somebody can come with enough motivation and hard work like my very first youtube video that i ever posted in my entire life was a minecraft video and i was just so dedicated to posting this video that it was shit it was not good i propped my phone up on some books on a chair in my room faced it towards the tv started recording i was playing minecraft i actually have this video on my phone somewhere and if in the future i become some grand big famous youtuber or if i just decide to want to post it i will just for shits and giggles gits and shiggles it's amazing to think about how far i have actually come from using a chair and some books to prop up a camera um, and then playing the game to having face cam having two monitors that i can play the game on one and watch my recording make sure that everything is good on the other having an actual mic like you guys you, you can actually hear my voice and i'm not even elevating right now you would not be able to do that with a regular camera especially it's that's one of the things that motivates me as well is how far i have come from my very first video to now and i only have 231 subscribers um it's amazing tiktok is the same way i posted uh on tiktok for the first time and my fifth video got me to a thousand followers i was able to go live after five videos how this was like a year after TikTok first started, like when they shut down musically and then rebranded it as TikTok. I started making videos in 2019. I think TikTok what was it 2018. Um, in my fifth video, this was before Charlie D'Amelio, this was before the hype house or whatever is famous. <laughs> I'm never really on TikTok anymore. I don't know who's famous. I don't. But every video that I see on my for you page has at least three million likes and when i first started this was before videos every video on your for you page hit that million mark so for me to have had a thousand followers in just five videos that inspired me that was like fuck how did that happen so i kept making videos i was using sounds trending sounds sounds that i thought i could make nice little funny skits out of and then when I got tired of that, I moved on to making actual skits. I was putting my acting skills to good use, which is another reason why we're kind of bouncing all over the place here, but dropped out of college. I was originally in college for digital video production, which is filmmaking, basically. It's editing, uh, screenwriting, filmmaking for TV shows, movies, commercials, and all that. And I figured I already edit for YouTube. I already edit for TikTok. What's different? You know, I, I could enjoy this. But then I realized that acting is another creative outlet of mine. I've always, since I was little, have always been just this dramatic person, this over the top center of attention kind of person. And even at a young age, I tried to get signed by an agency without any experience. Um, but then there's always like the money issues. Not everybody has the money for it it was me and my sister we both wanted to do it they wanted me but they didn't want my sister and then money also went into it this and that it's it's this whole reason why my mom didn't let us do it but you know whatever um so years later after realizing this passion for acting on top of content creating on top of drawing it's there's so many creative outlets that i have that i feel like I can't just, I 
I feel like I can't do all of them. I don't know why I have this feeling, but I just feel like I don't have the time to pursue all of my creative outlets. Like I want to draw, I want to learn how to draw. I have an iPad with Procreate that I occasionally will do some drawing on. I've learned how to use it a bit more since I got it, um, but I'm not like make a webtoon or a webcomic level of art yet. Um, acting, I went to acting classes, dropped out of college, went to acting classes, and sure enough, got signed by one of the biggest agencies here in Michigan. I'm thankful that that happened, but at the start of every actor and actress's career, nothing is going to happen unless you just happen to be that lucky person and land that one big role. I'm not there yet. I got one audition email, sent it in, didn't hear anything back. Clearly they didn't want me, they chose somebody else, but that's fine. It's the experience that really matters. It's always about putting yourself out there and trying something new, or at least trying, even if it's nothing new. If you've been doing this for years and years and years and nothing is coming of it, don't stop. Just keep trying. Do something else in the background. Do something else to occupy your time or something else to keep, keep your hope alive, keep your motivation up there. Um, with YouTube, it's basically the same way. I've been at this, how long has it been? 2014, 2015? But I didn't get serious about it until last year when I spent a shit ton of money on all this, on the setup, on the desk, the keyboard, the laptop, not the laptop, the, uh, the tower, the desktop, the monitors, microphone, all of this. I spent so much money on all this because I thought it's time to get serious about YouTube. It's time to get serious about streaming on Twitch. And again, we're jumping all over the place here. I'm sorry if you can't keep up. I'm, I'm going to try to... I'm just... I just want you guys to know that I am serious about making YouTube videos. It may not be every day. It may not be uh, every week. But whenever I have the time, whenever I'm feeling motivated, whenever I know that there's a game that's just... That I'm itching to play, I will play it. If there's ever like a challenge video that I just decide to come up with. There is still so much equipment that I have in mind that I want to buy um, for future videos. But going back to it all with with TikTok, I eventually reached 10,000 followers on TikTok and I thought that that was just the greatest day of my life. I never thought that I would see a double digit follower count in the thousands like you know what I mean like the double digit 10,000 I never thought I would see 10,000 um, and months later I continued to grind I continued to do what I was doing and made it to 45.6 thousand followers and then I kind of just lost interest I kind of just lost motivation to make skits every day and I didn't want to go back to using trending sounds because it's just everybody's doing that and now at least on my for you page all I'm ever really seeing is um, meme videos nobody is actually really content creating on TikTok anymore it's all just meme compilations and people using like the was a little text-to-speech voices to tell stories and that's one of the things that kind of just kills my motivation is like, I don't want to be the only one. Well, I guess it makes sense to be the only one doing one thing because then that makes you unique. But I don't know. It just doesn't feel like TikTok is being used for what it originally was when I started. There are, of course, some people who actually, you know, content create and aren't shit posting. But at the same time, it's like skits also they get they get pretty pretty tiring to make as well because then you have to come up with a new idea and if part one does well if you plan on doing several parts then you can make a part two but part two may not do as well there's always that factor of i want this to be my best video but it shouldn't always be about that it should be about at least having fun do i have fun making skits on tiktok yeah do I enjoy editing those videos and like spicing it up for even my TikTok followers? Yes, of course. But then it came a time where I wanted to get serious with YouTube. And so I dropped TikTok. 
entirely. I stopped posting and I think since I stopped posting, I've only posted two videos within the last year. One of them was using a trending sound and the other one was a skit really short really stupid compared to all my other skits that i've made i did that because i wanted to put more time and effort into this into youtube into being a youtuber which was my original goal which was my original dream before tiktok even came around before musically was even a thing um i've always wanted to be a youtuber i've always wanted to be in a chair just like this talking to you guys occasionally playing the game it's always been a dream of mine. So I put aside the one thing that kept my creative juices flowing and came over here, got all this equipment, started doing my thing. And I even tried to get some of my TikTok followers to come over here. It Some of them did. Some people just prefer to watch me do skits. Some people who would rather prefer to watch me play games would not go over to TikTok. And that's totally fine. I'm not expecting anybody to switch over because I asked you to. If you have a preference of what you like me to do, that's fine. That's why I have a TikTok. That's why I have a Twitch. That's why I have YouTube because some people just prefer that live experience on Twitch. Some people prefer to have that live conversation with their favorite content creators over on Twitch. Some people prefer to watch their favorite YouTubers do something specific on YouTube, play a game, challenge videos, story times, makeup tutorials, cooking how to's it's there's so many things that you can do on youtube it's been around for so long that literally you could do anything people will find their interest in anything on youtube and tiktok is the same way it just hasn't been around as long it hasn't it's kind of it's got its mixed emotions some people hate it some people love it but i think we can all agree that we've either grown up on youtube have started our lives on youtube have found our people on youtube and it's just the place to be so that's why i stopped doing tiktok to do youtube and then i started to realize i kind of miss this i kind of miss this i kind of miss tiktok i kind of miss youtube i miss making the skits i would go back and watch some of my old skits and I would think, man, I did not realize how much effort I actually put into that video. I never realized how much, how many edits I made to make this video funny. This is actually really funny. And I'm easy, I'm easy to impress. If you put something random in a video and something unexpected happens out of nowhere, I'm going to laugh. I'm, I'm going to laugh. So it makes sense that my own videos make me laugh, but I don't know how other people feel. You know, I all of the friends that I've asked, there's also mixed emotions with that, too. And that's one of those things that you just have to learn as a human, really, is taking criticism, taking advice, getting the good, the bad and the ugly advice from anybody and everybody. Um, some people hate my skits. It's just not their type of humor. Some people love my skits. They think, oh, my God, this is hilarious. Same thing with my YouTube videos. Some people have their critiques, some people have their things that they really like. Videos are too long, video is too short, video wasn't funny enough, video didn't keep my interest, you talked way too long. Which is one of the things that I even feel myself, is when I go back and edit these videos, I'm like, did I really need to say all this? Probably not, no, but it's all just a growing experience. I guess that is the, the summary of where I've been, why I haven't been posting. I started on TikTok, kept my creative juices flowing until I had the money to get a new setup, was in college for a bit, didn't really have time while working and doing classes, found an acting career, quit going to school, dropped out of college to pursue an acting career, still working, by the way, still working, I'm a full-time Target team member, your boy works at Target, in case you didn't know, still working at Target, it's been my first and only job since I was 16, I just turned 20 in August, so... That's something that not a lot of people my age can say, is that they've kept a job for nearly four years. Became sort of an actor. I was in two TV shows as an extra back in April this year. I have been in some independent projects, both school films and um, up and coming director films. I've enjoyed it. I love doing it. My 
main goal is to play as Miles Morales if they ever bring him not if when they bring him into the MCU Miles Morales is like a big dream of mine to play as um but I know that there's a lot of competition out there there's a lot of african-american males and even those who fit the criteria as an african-american latino male afro-latino which is what miles morales is in case you didn't know um he is an afro-latino spider-man and i'm just afro i'm just black so unless you know they're they're looking for these requirements that i may not fit but that doesn't mean that i'm not gonna try um so there's that I acting got back into YouTube for a bit missed TikTok, and want to get back into both of them I want to actually time manage so that I can be both a youtuber and an actor be a content creator as a whole I should say not necessarily just a youtuber I want to get back into TikTok. Um, I want to stream on twitch occasionally I want to focus mainly on YouTube um, cause that's like I said, where I've always wanted to be, but I just have all these creative outlets that I want to make the time and effort to get into, to continue at, to do better with drawing is kind of like at the bottom of my creative outlet list. Like if there's one thing that I want to do the most, it's content creating on YouTube. Acting is like neck and neck with YouTube just because, I don't know, it feels the same, really. It feels like I can sit in front of a camera and talk to you guys just as I could sit in front of a camera and act. You know, I love being a part of a different world, being a different person for some time that it takes to film a TV show or a movie. I love being that one dude, Chris, this alternate persona that is separate, but alternately the ultimately the same as Christian Green. You know, it's really the same kind of field when you think about it. YouTube, content creating, I don't know why I keep referencing YouTube only, but content creating and acting are in the same field, if you think about it. If you have the public speaking skills to sit in front of a camera and crack a joke or talk to somebody or millions of people, thousands of people, however many subscribers you have, how many followers you have, if you can sit in front of a camera and do that, you could also sit in front of a camera and act. I mean, acting itself is a completely different skill than public speaking, but you get my drift. You get what I'm trying to say. I've always been told to have a backup for your backup and content creating. It was where I wanted to be from the beginning. It's where I started. Acting is my backup. Drawing is my backup for my backup. So it's it's a lot. My sister recently went to college, uh, and she's not in the house anymore. Her room is completely empty, and I'm planning to move all of my stuff into that room to have more space uh, as my recording space. But these walls are super thin here. <laughs> So whenever I like would get off late from work, I would want to record videos, but I also didn't want to disturb her. It would be like 11 midnight by the time I actually got up and started recording a video. And depending on what she was planning to do the next day, whether she had school or work herself, I didn't want to be that kind of asshole. I didn't want to be that guy, even though sometimes I did, but that's just because I really wanted to. Like I was really itching to record, but now I am really itching to record every day and now that she's out of the house i have free range to be as loud as i want however early however late and that's also one of the motivations that i have of recording videos again is that i have the time i have the space <sighs> so that's all that <laughs> that's where i've been that's why i haven't been recording i want to come back to you guys i want to come back to content creating youtube twitch tiktok I'm going to push for promoting. I'm going to start going on social media and promoting more. I'm going to tell as many people as I can. And I'm going to try to juggle acting and content creating together whenever stuff like that pops up. I want to be, I just want to be into it. You know, I, 
Uh, I think I've gotten everything I wanted to say off my chest. I think I have let you guys know everything that has been on my mind since I started thinking about this. Um, so I just really want to thank everybody who is watching this video and who stuck around to the end. I don't know how long this is going to be. I've been recording for 27 minutes as of right now. <laughs> but when I edit, hopefully I can shorten it down to a reasonable time frame so that people aren't taken aback. Maybe just use this as ambiance. Maybe do something while this video is playing in the background. You really don't even have to watch me. I'm just sitting here. I'm not playing a game or anything. I'm just talking. I just wanted to tell you guys. I just wanted to talk to you um, about what's been going on. What's been going on in my life, my mind, my creative outlets. I just wanted to tell you guys that anybody who has come over from TikTok I miss you guys. I will try to make some skits soon. Anybody who has been here on YouTube, hello. I've missed you guys as well. Definitely do go check out my TikTok as well. <laughs> and anybody who just came across this video randomly, don't know how that happened. YouTube's algorithm doesn't even like to put out my regular gaming videos. But hello, welcome to the channel. I'm that one dude, Chris. Hopefully you stick around. Um, I am an actor, haven't really done much, but I am an actor, I'm signed by an agency, I'm just waiting to get some job off or some roles, so that's another thing, I'm basically just congratulating myself at this point, because I'm actually really proud of myself for that, but anyways, 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 I've been talking for way too long, I've gotten everything I wanted to say off my chest, I will just start repeating myself at this point. Uh, I'm probably gonna finish recording this and then be like, damn it, I meant to say this. I didn't get to say this. I should have said this, but it's whatever. I, I think you guys get it. I think we've all come to an agreement. I'm going to put more effort towards recording videos whenever I can. Whenever I can, whenever I have the time, whenever I have the energy, the motivation. I'm gonna start rocking it out. I'm gonna get out of here before I... Shit. I'm gonna get out of here. I love each and every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. I truly mean that. Thank you to everyone who made it to the end of this video. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed, who will subscribe. Just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I love y'all. Stay safe. Take it easy. There's a lot of weirdos out there. Like, a lot of crazy people. <laughs> Take it easy. And... Big Body out.